Oh, thanks very much, guys. Hey, yeah, you said the word blizzard, and we have not experienced blizzard-like conditions in our Southern California mountains since before 2007. So we're getting ready for a historic event that's going to come through Southern California for much of Friday. And as we start the day on Friday morning at about 4 a.m., the mountains of Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles County, we will experience blizzard-like conditions for these particular mountain communities here in Southern California all the way through Friday into to Saturday should expire by about 4 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. Gusts, wind gusts of up to 50, 60, and 75 miles per hour, and we'll see snowfall totals by the time we head into Sunday morning of about five to seven feet in our local Southern California mountains. And as you look at your five live Max Doppler, well, we are picking up snow showers at this hour through the Grapevine up into the Angeles Crest Highway and into the Wrightwood community. And as you can see a little bit further east throughout Crestline, Running Springs, up into Big Bear and that's where once again we're looking at those snow showers and we're also beginning to pick up some snow showers as we make our way through Acton heading up into the Antelope Valley the Palmdale area looking at some showers finally as we head up to the Fraser Park community along the grapevine well we're beginning to pick up some snow showers there as well and for more on that I want to turn you on over to our KTLA Sandra Mitchell she's live in the Fraser Park area not only of course is it cold there Sandra but folks are preparing to get ready for the snow. They absolutely are. Kai, thank you. We've already seen some snow showers, as you mentioned, over the past few hours. Things are expected to get much more extreme, as Kai mentioned, over the coming few days. We can tell you that Caltrans, the CHP, local sheriff's department, and the National Weather Service all working together right now to launch what they are calling Operation Snowflake. It is an effort to keep people safe in these extreme weather conditions over the next few days. We're going to talk to CHP in a live interview in just a few moments, but first, let's show you you what it looked like over the past few hours some pretty good sized snowflakes and it is cold here it's about 35 degrees right now the winds kicking up along the grapevine that has been making it tough for truckers and other drivers caltrans is in prep mode at their sand shed that's here in fraser park and they are loading up sand they are ready to deploy trucks to sand the freeway if it becomes icy they are working around the clock trying to stay ahead of the storm the snow plows are also standing by right now let's go ahead and bring in in, the CHP Public Information Officer for this area, DC Williams. Thank you for joining us. I know it has been a busy day already. Uh, we were out here just a few hours ago and the snow was coming down pretty strong. You were surprised by that, but you guys are ready. Yeah, for the most part, yes, we are definitely ready. Uh, Mother Nature can always throw something, throw us a curveball in that, but we are doing everything we can to be ready. As you mentioned earlier, we're working together with Caltrans, with our allied agencies, also with our neighboring CHP offices in case things come back in and get bad, that we have the help that we need to make sure the motoring public is safe. And Caltrans earlier was putting down a brine solution on the freeways. Tell us about that and what it does. Uh, basically what the brine is, is from my understanding, it's a water and salt mixture and that, that will keep the roadway warm to hopefully prevent ice from building up. And as the cars travel on the roadway, it heats it up Again, keeping the roadway warm to hopefully avoid ice. I know a lot of people have been coming through you here and they've been asking you, when are you going to shut down the grapevine? And the answer is, you don't know, right? What, what, what are you looking for? And if people are trying to get out tonight, they want to get on the freeway and get out of town, perhaps an early start on the weekend, what should they be carrying with them in their vehicles? Yeah, it is unpredictable. We, don't, we can't predict when we're going to shut it down. We're watching the roadway conditions. If it gets icy and vehicles aren't able to travel safely up and over on the grapevine, then that way, then we have to shut it down. If they are looking to leave, be very cautious leaving at nighttime because that's when things are a lot colder, more probability of ice. So if they are leaving, make sure you've got a full tank of gas. Make sure you've got an emergency kit with you with snacks, water, blankets in case you get stuck in a closure or if there's an accident and you're stuck in traffic. Definitely travel slow. If the roadways are wet, there's a possibility of ice, increase your following distance, and also watch the alternate routes in that too, because they can take you back into some back roads that aren't going to be plowed, that are going to be a lot worse than staying on the freeway. Hard to believe we're talking about heavy snow here in Southern California. DC Williams from the CHP, thank you so much for joining us. That's the very latest from the CHP right now. I can tell you the northbound, southbound five freeway through the grapevine is still open, but they do anticipate they might have to close it over the next few days. We're live in Fraser Park. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News, Sam and Pedro.
Back to you guys. Sandra, stay safe and stay warm. Thank you. <laughs> the mountains will bear the brunt of the winter storm with damaging winds, heavy snow and treacherous travel conditions. Caltrans officials say that if you don't have to travel, don't stay home. One of our top trending stories online today is how to know if you might get snow. And mm -hmm. Shelby Nelson, you got snow in Big Bear. How is it out there? You look great. We got snow. Just a little bit. No, I'm kidding. No, it, there's a ton of snow out here. It's freezing. You can bet if it's cold down there, it's freezing up here at last check. It was 22 degrees and you can see it for yourself just how much snow has been falling. It's been continuous. Beautiful, of course. I mean, aside from the beauty this has to offer, of course, very dangerous conditions, especially if you are heading up the mountain. And as you guys said, it is very dangerous. Caltrans is asking people to stay at home if you did have plans to come up here. Freezing temperatures and falling snow. The winter storm creating a powdery paradise, blanketing all of Big Bear. We're going to be um, doing the inner tubes up down alpine slide and we have some sleds and stuff like that. Several people heading up the mountain and stopping to put on chains before the checkpoint. Tammy Ulrich and her family are coming from Ventura and made it just in time before the heavy snowfall. I'm supposed to come back down Friday, but I think there's going to be a problem. So I packed a few extra things just in case. And those things might actually come in handy considering the fact that Big Bear will be getting hit the hardest between Friday and Saturday. We'll be talking about one to two inches of snow per hour, and we'll be talking about two to three feet of snow by Saturday evening. Pauline and Rich Downing are winging it. They just got in from Australia for the World Rugby 7 Series in L.A. this weekend. First, a trip to Big Bear for a little adventure. But that was without knowing one of the coldest storms in years is set to pummel parts of the Southland. Decided I should check the weather and realized there was a big storm coming. Meantime, chains are required for all vehicles heading up the mountain. So right now we're at an R2, so that's if you don't have a four-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive vehicle, then you need, need chains. You know, this is the time that, you know, when we do heed the warning of, you know, there's no non-essential travel, this is probably the storm to do that. Stay home. Yes, stay home, please. And guys, as you can see, it's really coming down at here again. It's been continuous like this throughout the day, and we are going to continue to see this through the next few days, according to those forecasters. Now, again, they also say that we're going to be getting snow in those lower areas as well. Could even see them in Fontana as well as Rancho Cucamonga. Reporting live in Big Bear, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Yeah. Get in the truck. <laughs> it, it's tough, especially when you, you see if she's dealing with these conditions, just standing there. Imagine when you're driving through the region. It's certainly dangerous. Thank you so much, Shelby.